Hello everyone, uh, welcome to IAM Community session on machine learning. Uh, today I am going to tell you a little bit about uh, what exactly machine learning is and the various terms associated with it. So what exactly is machine learning? It is nothing but you are teaching a machine to understand patterns from the data and make predictions based on the same. For example, the human mind, we know that there is more sales during festivals and, uh, you know, people who have defaulted on a loan in the past are more likely to do so in the future too. So if I'm a relationship manager, I would be very wise in who I lend out to. So in machine learning, we are trying to teach the uh, computer to reduce the similar things based on past data and to be able to make predictions. For example, if it knows the sales for the past 10 years, it should be able to tell me what my sales is likely to be in the future. So let's start with the first concept, regression. Uh, I'm sure many of you must have heard about it. Uh, regression is nothing but uh, the way you are going to define the relationship between Y, which is your output, and X, which is your input. Now, X can be either only x or it can be x1 x2 x3 x4 so basically x is your input variables okay based on which you are going to predict something uh, some output variable y so let's say the first graph right we are trying to predict sales using the year year is my input variable so uh, this is my first graph right now i can see a lot of numbers so these dots are nothing but the year sales uh, so they are data points for a particular year what was the sale etc okay so now what you will see is the second graph right what I am trying to do is I am just trying to find out the relationship between the y which is sales and the x which is year so I can see that if I draw a straight line then I can find some kind of a trend uh, which will define uh, the, the relationship between y and x to a certain extent it will not uh, define for every single x y combination but it is going to define this relationship for a majority of the points the dots that are lying there okay now based on this uh, i am able to deduce the function f uh, see this line that i drew right this is nothing but the regression line now see regression line doesn't have to be straight line okay i am just clearing it out right now it can the relationship between y and x can be circular parabolic hyperbolic it can be anything okay right now for just for simplicity i have taken a straight line so this straight line equation let's say we find out uh, you know you can easily find out the equation of a line using any uh, x and y two x and y combinations so the equation comes out to be y equals to fx plus one based on this equation i can easily predict for any given x the value of y sales so for example i don't know the sales for 2023 now based on the past data my company is telling me okay these these, these were the sales in the past uh, whatever uh, to 2010 2015 and 2020 three years now you predict this uh, sales for 2023 so i can easily predict based on this y equals to fx plus one that the sales is going to be 10116 and this is how you predict any y given x using regression regression is nothing but you are connecting these dots and how can i connect these dots that uh, at least majority of my dots are covered and we get a you know and we are able to unearthen the underlying uh, function f which uh, joins these y and x together so now we will be talking about supervised and unsupervised learning what happens in supervised learning is output data is labeled and in unsupervised learning output data is not labeled i will be explaining this so my first problem statement let's say is you should be able to predict whether any fruit okay is an apple or not for it so firstly i will i have defined there are only two classes of output possible apple and not apple okay that's the only two possible possible outcomes uh now for that uh the machine doesn't know right what an apple looks like it, it doesn't know anything so i will have to teach it so i will train the machine see this is how an apple looks like i will give it photos of different apples and all and uh, now i will be asking i will be giving uh, two new fruits and i will be asking the machine to predict whether the new fruit is an apple or it's not an apple so let's say i am giving the machine uh, first fruit so machine will say okay there is 95 percent probability that this fruit is an apple then i will show it the figure uh, the you know picture of a pear 
and the machine will say there is only 30% probability that this fruit is an apple. So this is my supervised learning. Now we have unsupervised learning. So in unsupervised learning, output data is not labeled. For example, uh, I am a company. Okay, I, I make some, let's say, uh, soaps. So I want to know which are the different target segments which buy my soap currently so that I can make different strategies for them. So I do not know the outputs, right? I don't know how many target segments will, uh, will I get and what these target segments look like. That is why the output data is not labeled. Uh, for example, the first figure, right? We, we have a lot of uh, circles, rectangles and triangles, okay? Uh, so now what happened is uh, the machine will try to, uh, machine will try to make categories on its own. Okay, it will try to understand which uh, type of objects are similar looking, similar type in nature. Okay, and it will club them together. So we see that we are getting three categories here. But bit before uh, we submitted it to the machine, we did not know, you know, how many categories the machine is going to give us. Right, we cannot know that in advance. Uh, now what will happen now this uh, yellow triangle that you can see right so I am uh, let's say asking the machine now you tell me which cluster it is going to fall into you predict that now so it has already made the clusters based on the past data right the three clusters now it is going to compare this new uh, new yellow uh, triangle and it is going to see which cluster is the closest to this new data point it will see okay this gray cl uh, gray cluster you know the one with lot of triangles is the one where this triangle should fit in so it will predict that it will belong to the gray cluster so this is uh, the example of unsupervised learning so the next uh, concept uh, is classification so what happens in classification is i already know the output classes Okay, so it is written algorithm which splits uh, observations such that similar observations slide together when the classes are already known. So, for example, here, right, uh, we have apples and pears. So, we already know that there are only two classes possible. Okay, that is already known to us. Now, we need to, if, if a new observation comes, let's say I can show this new peer, right, that you can see down, which is highlighted. Now, this new observation has come. So, now... Uh, now my classification algorithm will predict whether it will lie on the apple side or it will lie on the peers category side. So what it will do is it will compare the category, it will compare the properties of this peer, okay? And it will uh, tell you, okay, based on the past experience, it is more likely that this peer is going, this new fruit, right? It is more close to the peers than to the apples. So it will lie in the peers category. So an example of classification is, uh, classic example is defaulter and non-defaulter for a bank, right? Again, I'm coming to the same example. So um, if you know that these type of, if my, let's say, uh, relationship managers tell me, okay, the data basically will tell me. So these are the characteristics, people who have defaulted in the past, who are in this type of income bracket, who are in this type of uh, locality whatever they have they have more you know likely to have defaulted than people in some other type of locality or credit history etc so i will be given a labeled data label data as in i will be told that in the past uh, let's say for 1 million customers uh, these are the customers who have defaulted and these are the customers who have not defaulted so i will have that data ready with me okay now when uh, now what my uh, manager will say he will say okay this there is a new customer with these type of characteristics now character now classify whether this person will fall in the defaulters category or non defaulters category so then my machine learning algorithm of classification is going to study the characteristics of that person he will say okay the characteristics are more resembling with the non defaulters so this person is going to be put in the non defaulters category and this is how uh, your classification algorithms uh, typically work. Uh, with this, I would like to say thank you. And if you have any questions, you can please ask in the comments. Thank you.